A new crowd has made it into Austin. Music lovers, the change means APD has to focus on events across Austin, from the east side to South Congress and into West Austin. It also has to manage crowds that can get out of hand. KXAN's Chris Sadegi has more on where the fans are and just how many officers will be there with them. The Fader Fort is one of many venues around town where the music will be loud and the crowd will be big, but police have a plan to control all the volume. Bust out the dancing shoes. The music is back. Tonight, I'm very excited to see Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and the AAS. Musical acts are all over, and so are the lines and the crowds. And then, of course, there's always the chance someone might show up unannounced. And the rumors of Prince playing. I can't miss Prince. But there's thousands more who have the exact same idea, including the guys in uniform. We use the social media, you know, as we're looking, trying to determine and get a feel for what, you know, what we may be facing on any given night. are glued to Twitter and Facebook to see where the action will be, and so are police, because that's where they'll be needed. The Real-Time Crime Center helps them keep an eye on the venues downtown, but for the events like the Fader Fort, they're curious just how many wristbands are out there. It's something that we actually meet with South by Southwest to get some, some estimates to see how the uh, registrations are going. For anyone who's ever attended a big South by event, it can get claustrophobic. Last year, the crowd control was kind of corrupt and uh, real built up right here in the section. John Flores said last year's Fader Fort was a practice in patience. But so far this year, it's all about the party. This year, they got it pretty much un under control. And police say they're paying attention to the South by schedules as well as all the surprise events popping up on social media so they know where to send their officers. We're in East Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. South by Southwest expects another big year in music. Organizers say the festival showcased nearly 2,300 music acts last year. 547 were from 49 countries across the, across the world. Nearly 19,000 people attended the music conference and 55,000 people attended the free shows at Auditorium Shores.